How's everyone doing? Good? Well, I never get sick or tired of watching those drone videos and photos. It's almost as if we can fly. Flying. Maybe I should talk about flying today because that's kind of related to drones, right? But if you really think about flying, think about the superhero characters like Batman or Superman. They have the power to fly. And it's still very exciting after 70 years. Think about Elon Musk's new invention of, I think, the Mars rocket that you can fly from Hong Kong to Singapore in just 22 minutes. Flying, the act of flying, still excites us. And this kind of imaginations of flying always is a metaphor for creativity. I mean, flying, well, you see, flying, we're still very fascinated with it, and flying has influenced our research, our culture, but I would actually argue that the way we fly today is still not enough. There are still a possibilities of how we can achieve from flying. So this is a photo that maybe you think a professional aerial photographer took, but I actually took it. And um, so I brought a drone to um, scuba diving in Australia to look at the Great Barrier Reef. But two years ago, I would have never imagined that I would be able to fly a drone, see the view in that kind of angle, and able to actually know where the reefs are and able to see beautiful creatures under the water. I mean, creativity, right? But this kind of te technology for drones allow people to basically empower them to get up there to fly on the, in the sky. And this technology right now, I mean, it's becoming more simple. It's becoming more powerful. And a lot of people can actually do it themselves. You don't have to be professionals. You are empowered to do it this way. And for example, the technology, it's kind of mind-blowing right now. Look at this. You see these kind of drones with built-in technology, like satellite technology. There is a flight autonomy system. There's like obstacle avoidances so that you can actually fly in these kind of areas. And I was inspired by the previous TED talk just now, the video. Like I asked myself, why am I here? Why am I here to tell you guys about creativity, right? Well, I'm not an inventor also, but I'm a, I'm a person who connects creativity with drones. So I see a lot of people using drones in a very unique way, and I basically empower them to keep doing what they're doing. And you see a lot of drone usage, and I was able to see a lot of drone usage in many different ways. People are using drones as essential tools for emergency response. People are using drones for agriculture. We have, uh, the United Nations actually contacts us to use drones as a way to map the topography of the Maldives. So I was so intrigued by what the creators or what people have been creatively using our drones technology to do what they want to do. And specifically, I want to share with you a story um, of mine. I met Paul in Hong Kong. Um, I don't know nothing. I'm not an expert in um, desert, desert uh, tortoise. Is anyone an expert for this kind of species? But the only two things you need to know is that um, it doesn't reproduce that much, and it, uh, the baby turtles uh, has a very low survival rate. So Paul one day called me, and he was like, Donna, I have a crazy idea. I was like, sure, entertain me. And he was like, hey, um, I think drones can be used in a very creative way. And I was like, sure, tell me more. And he was like, I have a farm in California, a huge, um, a huge land, and I basically want to use drones to monitor these turtoise. And I was like, wow, how can you do that? And they were like, and, and he was like, well, turtoise usually lays eggs near the burrows, and it's very hard to get to, especially it's in a desert, so it's so, so hot. I don't want to actually get out there and do it. So I'm going to use a drone to actually monitor uh, where the turtoises are and able to kind of 
um, protect the eggs from attacking from the uh, predators. And this is just one of the many hundreds and thousands of examples of people using technology in such a creative way. And you may be wondering, how is this relevant to you, right? So I just went on LinkedIn yesterday to look at, to look at um, what people have been doing, uh, what kind of jobs there are. And if I search drones, you might be able to find jobs that don't even exist one year ago or two years ago. You see titles such as mechanical engineering, okay, it makes sense, um, but technical manager for drone shows. So drones are used for entertainment. There's also drones pilot, and there are a lot more. So drones are no longer just used for photography, but there are so much more opportunities out there. And just like any other possibilities, there are just so much more out there. And I kind of, I kind of want to finish this kind of presentation with this photo. I love, I love watching aerial photos because aerial photos actually remind me of what drones are. Drones are basically flying cameras. And flying cameras actually defeats or breaks the law of gravity and, able, and enable us to see the world in a different perspective. And if you think it this way, a lot of times or sometimes when we had a subtle shift in perspective, we're able to actually open our minds a lot more. And drones are able to let me see things in a very different angle and provide us a bigger perspective of what the world is. So today, I kind of want to challenge you all to unleash your creativity and think that the world has a lot more possibilities out there. Thank you.